Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of the Let's Play of Shining Force here on Nerd is the New Sexy. When we last left off, we finished the first battle at the gate to the Ancients. And now we are going to try to continue on the story. So let's get right at it. Fools, you may have won here, but Lord Kane of Runefoss is even now attacking Gridania. So now, I have to go here. Earthquake blocked the road. Head north, but we'll be ready for battle. No one enters Gridania or alive for Dark Soul. Death to Gridania. Alright, so let's see this. So there's three there. Six. Nine. Eleven. Okay, eleven. That's not bad. So I can't remember if the land effects really matter in the first one. They work in the second one. But if you notice how on the top of the left you'll see land effect. Well, typically that's supposed to give you a buff or debuff depending if you're attacking or defending. Um, on both you and your enemy. I can't remember if they... Uh, if it works here. Also, when you're in the mountain area or in the trees, um, your movement is going to be hacked, which sucks. Right here, I am extremely bottlenecked, because I can't go through here or the way we came. somewhat near where my front line is going to be. So those guys are just going to hang back there. I'm going to go ahead and kill you. And now Hans is level 2. Health by 1, speed by 2. I need to get Gong to level up. Oh, you're treating back to the forest, huh? So those guys aren't going to move, or at least the dwarves aren't going to move, until I get out of the mountain range. Like, this is one of the longer battles, not because it is hard. Because, like I said before, you're bottlenecked at that little area, and you can't 
Oh, I thought you were going to go attack me. Are you not the moon move? Here, let me make you move. Come on, double attack. No? Oh well. Well, I believe Hans is close to leveling up again. And now they're going for Gong. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Wow, you're not going to go for the main hero? Mm. Alright, so low is good where he's at right now. Don't want to cluster up too much. Then I wouldn't really be able to get around it. Hey, double attack. Sweet. 20 points of damage. Or, not 20. 10 points of damage, but 20 health. And 20 experience. Holy hell, I'm having a brain fart, guys. So right now I'm waiting for Gong's turn. There it is. Just so I can go finish the goblin and hopefully level him up. There it is, attack by one, defense by one, and speed by one. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. I'm like really surprised that the um, dwarves aren't moving yet. They might now since I cross into the forest, maybe farther into the forest. I need to try to get Tau up to the hi as high as I can get it on our adventure because her, as you level her up, she gains more spells, and she has a spell, or a level of, this, of her fire spell enables her to attack multiple enemies. You have five enemies in a cross platform. And it's very useful once they gang up, but also uses a lot of uh, mana. Hey, another level. Sweet. Yep, so they're down. Now they're, now they're gonna move. What they're going to do is try to get to both sides of the bridge. And by that, I mean, so one knight's already there, the other knight's gonna go there, and the dwarf's gonna stay there, or move to the very nose of the bridge. Put Gong in land effect because even if I believe it, you know, personally believe it doesn't do anything, it might have like a 
fraction of a chance to improve your attack or your defense. Alright, so one more uh, and she should level up. Yep, just like I said. I also need to level the hero up. Hey, how'd you miss on that big... Wow, if you didn't miss, you would have uh, killed him. Alright, Luke, let's see if you can kill him. There you go. So now since I'm out of the hill area, I can more or less move freely. Okay, which one of these needs healed the most? I believe it's Hans. Two, that's four. So yeah, it's Han that needs healed the most. So in, in between battles, your health and magic, you know, mana points do regenerate. They don't during battle, obviously. There are items to help with it, but you won't need them early game. You'll definitely need them very late game. They aren't going to cross the bridge. Hopefully, if my memory serves. I'm going to get my two rangers here. A.K.A. Hans and Ken. So I can attack them from across the river. Just have Tau there in case the dwarf does decide to charge. Too. So Ken is going to be like a massive tank towards the end of this. I see people, you know, back when I was younger and playing this for the first time, I did not do the strategy because they will not cross the river or the bridge. But if you're on the bridge, they, they'll come up to you. And if you get between all three of them, especially as your hero, you can be screwed very heavily. So like I said, just right here, I'm trying to slowly kill them. So there's one. three so she gained more mana points magic points which is good so I'm gonna be using her heavily throughout the 
game. Let's get Gong up here. No, let's not. See, they're right there. Alright, so I need to pull her back. Don't want a bottleneck. Attack twice. No, you do not. Okay. So since you're off the bridge, he will be too. So let's go ahead, cast magic again. This should kill him, if not it's going to get him down to one health. And he's dead. Sweet. Just like that, enter new Gridania. You're a little late. We're almost overrun by Runefoss. We've held him off, but we suffered greatly. Yeah, you're worried they'll attack later. So let's go up here and go to Gort, where we will hopefully unlock him. This little fracas made me want to fight again. I'm joining up. This music always gets me. It makes me cry for some reason. Maybe because it's a little bit sad. And, you know, a bit foreshadowing, if you think. I mean, yes, you know, being destroyed is sad. But there's got to be something sadder, right? Oh, these guys look beat up. Kane Runefoss has injured the king in Lord Varys. Go away, Kane. I understand what you're talking about. Anyway, the treasure of is in my hand now. I won't you let you take that. Just leave. Sword of Darkness, show me your power. Ah! Varys dies. R.I.P. Father, I can't believe it. I'll, I'll... Now Gridani is unworthy of my attention. Farewell, fools. Ice Cold, look at the king. Ice Cold. May. I don't think I'll have much longer. The Varys protected me. Listen, the Gate of the Ancients is the only access to the tower, and the gate can be opened only by the key. You must find it before it falls into the hands of evil. You should never let them open the gate. Find out why Runefoss is interested in the gate. Please. May, daughter of the Great Varius, help Ice Cold. Avenge your father, and be strong. Your Majesty. Please tell my daughter, Henri, and uh, Manarinia to stay strong for the people. The king dies. Now's not time for tears and grief. Uh, Alteron should be our next goal. Ice Cold, let's go find that key. I don't want to see any more of these tragedies. Like I said, the music is a bit foreboding. I'll wait for you at the headquarters. Be quick. Okay, so before I go, uh, I need to go back down here. So headquarters was to the left, and at the headquarters, you can basically see everyone that's joined up in your force. Let's go ahead and save here. The powers of light be with you and all of the shining force. Let's go ahead and save. Again, this is, I guess, part two of the Let's Play of Shining Force. Not really that much into it, only the first two battles. But the battles themselves can take quite a while. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm going to enjoy this whole thing. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget, stay nerdy and stay sexy. Always. Thank you.